Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Something I haven't done in quite a long time, indeed. Now, this is technically, I guess the name is either. I've seen most people refer to it online as would you rather, but it's basically you're asked which one would you rather, and then you see how you line up with everybody else who's been taking this thing. As I said, it's been a couple of years since I've done this and I've been wanting to. And I'm a YouTuber. I am nothing if not derivative. Other people have been doing this. It reminded me, so thumbs up. Let's give it a shot. Would I rather be a police officer or a fi firefighter? Well, first off, ACAB, so I would be a firefighter. I, I've got to say that. My grandfather was a firefighter. My one of my brothers in law was a volunteer firefighter and I have a lot of respect for firefighters. Definitely. Now most people would apparently rather be a police officer, but I especially don't like having like people shoot back at me. If I was on the Starship Enterprise, would I work, rather work under Captain Kirk or Picard? I don't know. If you're a red shirt, your 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 lifespan is measured in minutes, no matter what ship you're on. There is a lot of pipe being laid under uh, under his captainship, but this was, I would say, probably Picard. A lot less chance of being vaporized, I think. Ah, oh, what can I say? Safety rather than excitement. Somebody has to. Be a U.S. Senator or be the U.S. President. You see, that's the thing. Take a look at what's happening with the President right now. Uh, I'd rather be a cog in a powerful machine than be the figurehead of the power. So I'd rather be a Senator. I am really on the wrong side of all of this. That is rough. That is just rough. Would I rather freeze to death in the Arctic or burn to death in the desert? I'll tell you this, I would rather freeze to death in the Arctic because when you freeze, you get numb, you get tired, you fall asleep, and then you're gone. But oh, when you're burning to death, you can't sleep. It isn't peaceful. You don't slip off. You're in awake agony. <coughs> Excuse me, the entire time I choose freezing to death in the Antarctic. Hey, or the Arctic, at least I'm on the right side this time. <laughs> this time. Would I rather have anything I write become truth or know all the truths that there are now? This is exceedingly dangerous. I myself would rather just know the truths. That would be nice to know. I am once again on the wrong side of just what everybody else in the world is feeling. That's rough. How did I get my finger on the wrong pulse? Have 300 horses or a car with 300 horsepower? I'm not a big fan of horses. <clears throat> not saying I dislike them. They're fine animals. It's just, I'm, uh, what would I do with a horse? I am afraid of them because of their size and such. I've been to dude ranches when I was younger and didn't like riding them. I have fallen off horses and gotten hurt. I'm not a big fan of horses. What would I do with 300 horses? I'd sell them and then buy a car of 300 horsepower. So I'd just rather have a car with 300 horsepower. At least I'm on the right side, the right side of everything going on now, though. At least there's that. Buy a PS4 or buy an Xbox One? You see, here's the thing. I actually already have both of these. But if I didn't and I had the money, I actually would choose one of these. Even though I've bought every Xbox thing as well, I started off in the late 90s buying a PS1, and I am a Sony fanboy, so what can I say? Hey, I match up with the rest of the world there. Or at least I match up with the other people that have taken this test.
probably good marketing. Now, I'd rather save two family members or save 10,000 strangers. You see, that's the thing. You've got to take a look at it. Which one is better? Sure, this would be nicer. But this one is better. Barely. It's almost 50-50. Almost. <laughs> I mean, it's... it's <clears throat> but I don't... I've sort of seen little pictures of the Pusheen cat. I don't know if I'm going to have a picture up here of it. And, you know, the Nyan cat thing. <clears throat> this one's just annoying. But this one is is soft and puffy and fluffy. So I would get that one. And I am on the wrong side of history again. Oh, well, though. Oh, now this is a, a, a tough, tough question. I guess if it had to come down, I mean, both of these... I would hate to have lived anybody's life, especially, you know, go back more than a hundred years. I mean, the big problem I have right here with this one is the whole outdoor plumbing thing. That's my biggest issue with this historical figure. Whereas at least here, there's, you know, plumbing, largely. But historically, Good golly, Miss Molly, this this was a worst life she led. Ah, uh, my personal choice is is here. Once again, I'm on the wrong side of history, or at least on the wrong side of those people that have taken this test. Hope he smokes. <clears throat> Oh, never again play a game on my computer, or never again play a console or portable device game. I am a PC master race snob. Even though I own <coughs> consoles and have since the mid-90s, and I want the next generation of consoles coming out, I would die if I could never again play anything on my computer. So I would have to choose portable console or or portable console. Oh, you see, this is how much things have changed. But life is life. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Good golly, Miss Molly. Because denim is a wonderful, wonderful fabric. <clears throat> and it doesn't have to feel anything at all like, you know, canvas. It can be a very nice and pleasant fabric, but flannel and plaid is... Flannel is a nice material. I don't know what plaid is made out of. I only know plaid is the print. But flannel as the material is nice. <clears throat> but this would last longer. Ah. I am I am a creature of darkness shunned by all that is good and pure in this world. <laughs> Hokey smokes. I think I've only been like one or two of them I've been in agreed. <coughs> Only write in cursive or only type in caps. This is exhausting to read. So if I could only type in caps, no one would ever read anything I was trying to say. This may be hard to read, but it's not as exhausting as this. This is like just a wall of text that you cannot escape from. This is not. So I would much rather write in cursive, because I could still type normally. <coughs> Excuse me. So not bad. I'm right up there. That... If I had to choose, I mean... 
my personal choice would be to just say I'm not going to make a choice. But if I have to choose one of these instead of choose not, <clears throat> even though I would rather save 10,000 strangers than two of my family members, that's not because I don't like any of my family, I would much rather hurt myself than others given the option. So, yes. It doesn't matter if I lose my mind from fear. At least I haven't hurt anybody else. So, yeah. <coughs> I am so sorry. Well, we I've already answered this one, so we'll go on to the next. Kill Godzilla and have half the city destroyed because of it and everyone will know it's you. Or kill the Kraken and save the city from future catastrophe without anyone knowing. I don't need fame and fortune. I could live with the personal satisfaction of knowing that everybody is alive because of me without anybody else having to know. So yeah, I would much rather. <clears throat> Hokey smokes. At least I'm on the, the same side as most people. There is that. When you go to bed at night, would you rather have a deranged elf pour a bucket of water on you every 15 minutes? Does it have to be a deranged elf? Or hear Buffalo Soldier by Bob Marley play at 110 decibels for three minutes at a time at random intervals? Well, I'm going to choose this because 110 decibels is enough to cause hearing damage. And I like being able to hear. <clears throat> In fact, 109 decibels is physically painful as it damages your hearing. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, I mean, does it have to be a deranged elf? I would much rather. People don't want to be able to hear after a while. You would go deaf. That's, people are, I'd much rather be able to hear. Now, would I, would I rather be able to talk, talk to read minds? What? Okay, would you be able to read minds, but you get a really bad headache, or be able to fly, but you're afraid of heights? That is rough on both of those, is it not? But I would still choose flight, even being afraid of heights. Which I'm not. But I would be. <laughs> Man. That's not fair. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what the sand lot is, so we're going to have to skip this one. Would I rather live in a tree house or live in a floating boathouse? Okay, there's all sorts of terrifying and frightening things that can happen on the water. I am not one of those people that likes the sea. I don't like living a boating life. I don't like being suspended on the surface of a big blob of water. I would much rather live in a tree house. I've seen some nice tree houses and I like trees. So there we go, much nicer. <clears throat> would I rather be painted by Van Gogh I can't remember exactly how to pronounce his name. It's not pronounced in the Americanized Go version. It's more like Koch or something like that. So, would I rather be painted by him or Da Vinci? Well, it's too bad it has to be a painting, but I would say Da Vinci because I like Da Vinci's art. And Da Vinci was a genius, so there is that. Plus, he could paint me like one of his French girls. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I'm close to this. I don't have it, but they've tested me for it, and they actually think I might. So, if I do, though, it's very minor. And this one, I've... I do have that. At least this one I'd be able to sleep, but I already have that, so... Hey, I'm barely on the side of everybody else. 
<laughs> oh my. Would I at rather lose an arm and a foot? This is this is the same thing. Except well, you're losing a limb on one side. It's would you either what they're saying is would you rather lose an arm and a foot or a leg and a hand? Just like they say. <laughs> I am having troubles making my mind work properly for that. I, I mean, either way, you're going to lose a hand. So it really doesn't matter. At least this way, it would probably be easier to get an orthotic. I mean, really, they're exactly the same. It's unfortunate. That could have been done a little bit better, but that's okay. Would I rather own a pocket-sized giraffe or a pocket-sized elephant? Well, this is purely just personal preference here, and there's no real stakes in it. I think I would much rather own a pocket-sized giraffe, personally, just because they're fascinating little critters. I mean, elephants are fascinating, too, and really smart, but... <laughs> have blue skin or have red skin? Yeah, uh, I've seen people with blue skin. They take the, there's this type of silver that you can drink, and it changes your body blue. So you're literally blue, and that's not a, a good color. So I would I would choose this one. Once again, I am on the wrong side of everybody else who's taking this little quiz here. <coughs> Well, you see, eating your own flesh, your body is already eating your own flesh. So by eating something, you're not really doing anything if you're eating yourself. It doesn't do anything. You're only harming yourself and your body is already set up for starvation. It knows what it's doing. So eating your own flesh does not save you. So, yeah, I would much rather take a fork to, my, to a loved one's head. What can I say? I am on the wrong side of history on that one. I'd live longer. Yeah, they'd be pissed and out an eye, but hey. Now, would I rather have a drunk personal driver or a thieving maid? Oh, this is bad because, well, this one you're not going to die. You're just going to be missing stuff. This one, you're going to die. So I think having a thieving maid or nanny. I, it's amazing how many people here want to die on the road and take out others with them. Ugh. <coughs> well, now that we know how I stack up with the other people taking this test, <laughs> not all that same. What's the, what's the, what's the word? We don't match up and stack up in the same way. Still valid choices, no matter how wrong the other people chose. <laughs> so don't make them feel bad for being in the wrong. Definitely. So thank you very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. It is greatly appreciated. I'll be doing more things like this, at least I certainly hope so. If you have any suggestions, please drop them down in the comments. That would be very, very cool. Definitely a thumbs up. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing.